Hey guys, it's Nick back with Birthdays Fishing. Um, and with this video, I'm going to actually introduce you to a new hobby that I just started getting into the other day, um, which is painting my own lures. So before I get into actually painting a lure in front of you guys, I just kind of want to give you a little bit of a background as to, you know, why I started getting into this and really what were the reasons why I started doing this. So it's been, you know, starting to come around here in the Virginia, D.C. area with the water temperatures. So I've been going fishing um, a couple of times over the last couple of weeks. And really, I love throwing these, you know, 1.5 type square bills um, for these bass, for these moving bass. And I've been buying, you know, KVD 1.5s and 2.5s. And I've just been finding that I break them a lot, whether it's on rocks or um, on my cast or you know in different reasons I've been breaking them and you know I've been trying to figure out well this is kind of a shame that I'll, I'll buy a new lure and it'll break the first time and I've always been kind of crafty so I figured I'd you know try my hand at you know actually painting some of my own so I did some research I picked myself up a starting kit um, which basically all inclusive came out to just about a hundred dollars so fa fairly uh, uh, low entry um, to get kind of get started it came with only six colors so as you'll see sometimes I have to get a little bit creative right now um, but I've been you know trying it these are you know my first time ever using um, airbrush and first time ever painting lures um, I've only been doing it for two days like I said so still new to it but I thought I would you know start to you know tape some of the stuff I've already done and show you guys kind of what are the ins and outs to it um, and I think this will be something that I'll continue with um, as I get better and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I do because I think it's a great thing to kind of get into for a hobby especially in the winter time when you can't really go fishing and also you know it's pretty cost effective even though it cost me a hundred dollars to get into it you know these blanks cost me one dollar so if they pan out you know adding hooks and some swivels to it will only cost me um, about 50 cents a lure. So for a dollar fifty, I can start cranking out some some lures that hopefully should catch some nice fish. So with that, I'm going to get into it and show you how I paint one, and hopefully you guys like the results. Okay, so first off, guys, as I said before, you know I'm very new to this, very raw, and I really don't have all the necessary equipment yet. So I've been kind of just using stuff I have around the house to get by. For instance, I don't really have a stand to paint these on, so I've been using these little grips to just, you know, hold the bill of the square bill like so, and I paint it like this so, so I don't get paint on anything else. Surprisingly, these little airbrush kits are pretty good at remaining paint, being really precise with it, so there isn't really too much overspray. As you can see, there's really minimal after painting four to five lures. That's a it's a pretty minimal overspray amount, and I don't care about these at all, so that's not a big deal for me. Um, for this episode, we're going to just do a really basic pattern. It's just going to be some you know, white and silver uh, with a black back, a little shad, um, and put that little dot on it as like so. So first thing that I like to do, and this is kind of something I do anytime I paint anything, is I like to sand down the lower. Um, this is really fine sandpaper. I've already put went over it with I think 220 grit, but this is I think 2000 grit what I'm doing right now. So I just, you know, like to give it a pretty even sanding around all of its edges just to make sure that this paint is going to adhere nicely and uh, and that will be good to go. So after this, I'll dry it off and we'll get to painting. Okay, so we've sanded and dried it off. Um, We've also took some painter's tape and masked off the bill since we don't want that to get painted. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a base coat of white since this pattern's pretty white on the bottom anyway. So, with no further ado, I'll get to painting.
So the painting's really just a finesse game between how hard you want to pull the trigger and how much air you want to let out. Um, that's definitely the biggest learning curve for me. Um, I'm, I'm definitely already getting better, so um, I think the more time on the gun, I think I'll get better. Um, bef between coats, I'm, I'm going to put a couple coats of base layer here on this. Um, you can flash dry with just a, a simple hair dryer, um, and this acrylic paint will dry really fast. Make sure you dry the paint between each coat, it's really important. <clears throat> okay, we got the base white done. We're going to cook up some gray and get back to painting. Okay, we got the gray mixed up. One important thing to know is between each coat, you really need to clean out the gun, make sure it's completely clear of the old color, because if not, you'll get kind of a mix of colors and it'll really mess up what you're trying to do. So we got the gun cleared out, we got the gray put in, and we're gonna here now shoot. All I'm really looking to do is fade some of this top of the back in and then put it on the top, and then I'm gonna put black over top of that on the on the very top. So with no further ado, here we go. Okay, got the gray put on, and now it's time for the black. We're gonna just put the black just right on the top, and then we're gonna do the uh, the kill the kill dots on both sides. I also like putting the black around the eyes and on the nose. I just think it look, gives a pretty mean um, appearance from the front. Okay, it's time for the kill dot. Um, for this, I just created a really simple stencil out of some uh, just like cardboard paper um, I had lying around the house. Since it's pretty dark up here, I think I'm going to bring the dot a little bit lower near the lateral line um, and right behind the gill plate. So. So here we are with the finished product. Um, it's definitely nothing flashy or fancy, um, but it desires the uh, the uh, intended uh, goal. Um, you know, like I said, this is you know one of many videos. I'm just getting into this, so hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you can learn something. Um, you know, if you have any questions or you want me to do anything in particular, please leave a comment below, um, and I'll try to get that out to you as soon as possible. I appreciate you watching, and uh, until next time, tight lines.